Hello, my name is Rick Mittler, and I'm here today to talk to you about water quality. I'm going to try and provide you some information about what impacts water quality and why it's important. I want to give you some ways that you can not only measure it in your local area, but ways that CBF measures water quality on our education programs and throughout the watershed. And as well as, what are we doing with this data? Who are we giving this to? Why is this data important? Um, I encourage you all after this um, clip to go and check out some more, more facts about water quality on your own and do some self-investigation. Let's get to it. Why is water quality important? The reason water quality is so important is it begins to help us to answer one of our major questions that's out there is, is this ecosystem healthy enough to support a diversity of life? The water quality impacts all of the living things that call our water and our rivers and streams home. Next up, we have what impacts water quality. Water quality be, can be impacted by natural factors such as the weather, but it can also be negatively impacted by humans. Humans do this um, through pollution because oftentimes pollution on the land caused by the decisions that we make every day will make its way down into our rivers or streams or our tributaries or one body of water that flows into or contributes to a larger body of water and eventually will flow all the way down to the Chesapeake Bay. When we talk about pollution coming off the land and negatively impacting the water quality, we lump it into three major categories of nutrients, sediments, and toxics. Nutrients, we're thinking of poop, I often like to say the bay's number one problem is your number two, but it can also be in the form of uh, phosphor, phosphates and nitrates. We also have sediment, aka our fancy scientific word for dirt, and then we have our toxics that are out there we know we don't want in our, in our water because it's bad for the health of the water of the things that live there. I like to remember them by thinking about their first letters N, S, and T, and it kind of sounds like nasty. So always try and remember your nasties. These are those pollutants that are coming off the land and negatively impacting the water quality in our waterways. Now that we know a little bit more about those pollutants that are out there negatively impacting the water quality, I wanted to go over how you can measure water quality. What's great about water quality is you can use your senses to measure it. You can use your eyes to look into the water, to look for the clarity or maybe something that's in the water. You can listen out for things around the shoreline that might be impacting the water. You can take a big whiff, get a nice smell of an odor that might be impacting the water quality. You could even touch the water if you're able to safely get down there, just maybe check on the temperature. I will say, please save taste for lunch. Uh, we want to avoid ever drinking any untreated water. But that is just an easy way that you yourself can measure water quality. I also want to talk about how CBF measures water quality. While we do like to use our senses to look and see and smell what the water quality is around us, we also like to use scientific equipment to actually test for some of those factors that are out there. We like to test for some of those abiotic factors or those non-living things that are out there like our nutrients that can be impacting the water quality. And what really makes this data powerful is that we collect this data throughout the entire watershed and record it in a GIS system. So for those of you who don't know, GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems. And it's just an online portal where we can capture all of this data and all of these geographic points that show us what the water quality was like at this point in time at this area in our watershed. So scientists can do this for their research. It can help CBF try and identify trends or changes over time. But what's most important is that you as a public are able to view this data. This the data is available publicly online. If you go and check out the link right here, you can check out um, our water quality app. Um, it'll show over a thousand data points that have been collected on different CBF field experiences and that can really give us a better idea of what the water quality is like throughout the entire watershed. We are helping monitor the water quality throughout the entire watershed to help identify any of those major changes or if anything's going on. So it really, really is an amazing set of data that allows us to track the changes and the trends over time that are impacting the water quality in the entire Chesapeake Bay watershed.
just like how taking a water quality sample is like a snapshot of what the water quality is like um, on at any given day I hope this gave you a little snapshot and a little preview into a little bit more about water quality and again I encourage you to investigate on your own and learn more about water quality and why it is so important and make sure to check out our GIS app and go explore some of those water quality data points throughout the entire Chesapeake Bay watershed. Thanks.